Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the. Oh, here we go. We're going to be taking a look at the Victorinox Evo Grip 14 Swiss Army knife. And this is one of those knives that's the kind of Victorinox Winger hybrid from when Victorinox and Winger merged. And you get some of the features of Victorinox and some of the features of Winger. So let's open this thing up and take a look at it. Let's see what it's got going for it. All right, the first thing it has going for it is it has these grip scales here. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. I may or may not. I don't know. I'm torn about the grip scales. So it's got the grip scales first of all. It has a corkscrew, which is pretty common. It's got, oops, it's got the awl, and this is a Victorinox style awl. The Winger awls don't have the, the hole, and they don't have like the edge here. And by the way, this edge is sharp. I managed to cut myself years and years ago when I was young with, it, with, with this particular, not this knife, but this particular blade on my Swiss Champ. And it was an inter it was a involved enough cut that I distinctly remember it. And I've cut myself with most of the knives I owned growing up, so it was a doozy. It's got toothpick and tweezers. Toothpick and tweezers. Now this is I'm pretty sure the smaller format. Yeah, this is a eighty five millimeter versus the usual 91. So it's a little bit more pocket friendly, size wise. You get the, a nail file from, you know, kind of like the Cadet. You have the large Swiss Army knife blade. Now you have the Winger version of it, which is a little bit wider, and it's a little bit wider than the traditional Victorinox one. Uh, for a quick comparison, you can see the Winger blades tend to be a little bit wider, and because you're dealing with 85 versus 91 millimeters, the blade's a teeny bit shorter. And let's see what you got. You've got the traditional Victorinox can opener with the flathead screwdriver as opposed to the angry angry looking Winger one you have actually this is a Winger looking bottle opener uh, for comparison real quick let me show you you see it's a little bit different shape this is close to the Winger one although it doesn't say patent on it which most of them tend to. So there's a little bit of difference there. And you get some scissors. If I can get them out, you get some scissors. Man, some days it's just difficult to get a pair of scissors out. All right, there we go. wait, it shouldn't be this hard. All right, uh, that was a little bit of incompetence. All right, so you have the Winger style, yeah, the Winger style scissors, where you have the small built-in lever, as opposed to the Victorinox style scissors, where they have the little spring. So, it's kind of a nifty little knife. It's not terribly expensive. They run about, I don't know, 35 bucks. I'll include a link in the description if you want to check it out. It's got a decent amount of bang for the buck. I'll tell you one thing I'm curious about. I wonder if I can take the little bitty screwdriver from the... In this case, this is a compact, and this is a tinker, if you are interested for comparison. 
And let's see if it'll work here. Okay, that's cool. So if you wanted to add one of those little micro screwdrivers to it, you can do it with no problem. And the micro screwdrivers are like three bucks or something. You can pick them up at most sporting goods stores or online anywhere. So you can add this to your Evo grip if you are so inclined. That's kind of cool. All right. Not a bad little knife. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like the whole Evo grip thing? The grip thing? Do you like the hybrid Victorinox and Winger knives? Is the 85 millimeter versus 91 millimeter? Is that the kind of, I mean, is that a big deal? It does have like a, a noticeably smaller footprint in your pocket. Anyway, let me know what you think. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope you all have an excellent day.